Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thanks for waiting for this video. I promised an overview, or part five of five on the Vulture Stone, and in between the last video and this one, I made many more discoveries. So please watch the previous videos to get more details on the Vulture Stone. However, let's get into it. The Vulture Stone is a cartoon map. It's the easiest map to make, create, explain to people, to communicate with. The map itself, as I said before, was it covered this area of uh, 200 by 600 miles plus uh, it's telling a story of, of the flood in here. And I'll get into that again in a new series that's coming up. The shapes that were on Pillar 43, the Vulture Stone, as I said before, they are uh, created twice here. They're, they're once in this direction, once in the other direction. I've included everything on this picture. Okay, and, and something that I said before was that they had to have known about their neighbors. I mean, if this is a map of their area, they would have known about the people all in here. They would have known about the people uh, around them, right? And as a matter of fact, I was staring at Pillar 43 so much, I told my wife, I says, you know, based on this and the Euphrates being right here, I said, on the side of this pillar, if I can get a picture of the side of this pillar, Iraq would be here, and on the other side would be Israel. Well, I looked around, and found a picture. Thank you, Dr. Martin Swetman and uh, Dr. Swetman for responding. Dr. Swetman does respond. Uh, uh, you may not agree with him on things, and I don't either, but he does provide. He brings the pictures, brings the goods, and he brings his ideas. But let's get back to this. I was saying that over here, that this is the Euphrates, and this will be Iraq, and sure enough, on the right side here, well, you have this, this tiger right here. And everybody, I'm telling you, this is the Tigris River, and I'm going to show you that when I do a pillar by pillar uh, um, explanation of what's going on. This is up above Baghdad. Over here, this, I believe, I'm still working on this, but I believe this is Jerusalem. Uh, uh, and the old Jerusalem on this side right here, just based on this shape. And we'll talk about that again. And at this point, I realized, you know, I, maybe I should look at the other pillars, um, you know, and see what, what's going on if they're, you know, it, <laughs> if there's a bigger picture, so to speak. And so I did. And that's what's been going on. I've looked at these pictures. Yes, I know what this is. Yes, I know exactly what this is. And you will too, soon. I, yes, I know. I can read all of this. I can read all of this. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay. And in detail. This too, right? They're just all beautiful. They, they are. And there are more pictures. And uh, here's one of my favorites. And uh, I love this one. And, and when I explain it to you, you're going to love it too. It's just absolutely amazing. So what's happened in the meantime is everything that you see here circled, that's what I've discovered on the pillars, okay? And pillar 43 is this red circle. That's what we just went over, right? All this, the structures there in the previous videos here, this is what I've been concentrating on. And Gobekli Tepe is that red dot right there, okay? So it's, it's in the middle, as you can see, that it, all of the main seas around them, they knew about, they, they knew about all this. This black box right here, is a thousand miles by a thousand miles. That's a million square miles. And as you can see, it's even bigger. That, that's just for, for, for perspective. But as you can see, the, the maps themselves are, are much bigger. So as a matter of fact, if we remove uh, all the circles, everything, you can see it's, it's pretty much this, this picture right here. And if I put it on a bigger map, that's the area we're talking about. It's bigger than most countries in the area, most of them. And matter of fact, if you overlay it on Europe, it covers Germany, France, Austria, most of Italy, England, um, you know, all, all in one. It's, it's massive. It's, it's amazing. It really is. So, um, the, again, for Pillar 43, take a look at the previous videos. Uh, I will go over it again. And, but what's coming up is a new series. I'll have all the pillars. There are rules that I figured out on what they did. There's the comet. Yes, there's flood. There's some tales. Okay, for for this. And so with my family, I asked them because they've they've looked over my shoulder so much and I've asked them to look at this, look at this, and oh my God, this, and oh my God, that. I asked them, am I the first Natufian, the last Natufian, or Neo-Natufian? And all of them said, I am the last Natufian. <laughs> and that's great. And I'm glad to share this. Please share this with your friends. It's coming. It's coming very soon. Um, and it'll be as awkward as this and... Uh, uh, but I've got some ideas on how to explain it even better, okay? So you're going to get all of this easy to explain in my new series called The Last Natufian. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.